Not sub you two, simply. Oh, oh, lucky you're in. Today we have another part of our wonderful, epic, amazing Walmart challenge. And again, you guys, it is going to be a $50 Walmart challenge. This is two classic mystery boxes from Walmart. I'm actually very excited for this, you guys. And as you see, we have a bit of a change of scenery. Uh, some of you guys were asking for a tour of the new shop, and we are going to do that. Just not fully prepared yet, so be ready for that, you guys. Also, I wanted to say, be sure to check out the channel, subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Also, though, remember to post in the comments below if you guys think we did complete the epic $50 wall. Our challenge and uh, let's get started you guys I'm super excited for this this is the classic mystery box here and some of you guys are gonna notice that this one's actually open um, this was the box that we used for the uh, proposal video so if you guys were wondering why it's already open it's because I actually took out what was inside and put a ring inside of this box so go check out that video uh, if you guys have not already so uh, we'll actually go ahead and start with this box and uh, let's see what we get we have our wonderful dragon made playmat here you guys um, a lot of you guys were asking if we we're going to do another run of these. We'll see. So just uh, keep checking the links at the top of the description below for those. All right. For this one, it is going to be... Oh, actually, we'll check out the back real quick. Uh, for this one, you have the chance to pull some graded 10 god cards along with a structured X inside and then the legacy pack plus three boosters. And if you notice, there's a maximum crisis and shining victories booster possibility in here. Both of those boosters already valuing over $5 each. So I'm actually really excited for that. So let's see what we get. It's going to be Battle of Legends of Light's Revenge. That's very nice. Classic pack. Uh, Raging Tempest. Ouch. A Pendulum Evolution. <laughs> and then a classic Spell Ruler booster pack. So very cool there. And then a Dragon's Collide structure deck. And so there's a couple ways to do this, you guys. We could be like, okay, well, what are the single cards inside Dragon's Collide that are like oh, more than 50 cents? And that goes towards the uh, $25 challenge or $50 challenge for this video. Um, overall, though, I'm going to go ahead and give this a $10 value. And we're just not going to open it for this video because, uh, or we might. But overall, I just kind of want to give it like a $10 value and see where the video goes from there. So we'll start with Pendulum Evolution, you guys. Here we go. $50 Walmart challenge. We got Double Iris Magician, pretty cool card. Harmonizing Magician, Stargazer Magician, Stellar Knight of Zarathubun, and Metalfos Counter. Okay, uh, Raging Tempest, you guys, making a bit of a rise recently with the whole new rule coming out. Uh, more links, not links, sorry, uh, synchros and tuner support in this set. So, got the crystals. Let's see what happens. Uh, Shirinui style Samsara, Zodiac Bunny Blast, Super Quantal Alphan Strike, Shino Bird Crane, a Wind Witch. Sorry, did I say crystals? I meant Wind Witch crystals. Oh, it is Crystal Ball. Yeah, Bell or whatever. So it does have crystal in it. And a Delta the Magnet Warrior. Cool. So we got a Wind Witch though that we were talking about. Oh, a White Princess. Nice. And a Yoku Tuner, a Zodiac Ram Ram. Oh, Zodiacs actually might be playable with the uh, new format. Didn't think about that. Set that right there. Uh, next is going to be Battle of Legends Light's Revenge. Um, actually, a lot of valuable cards inside this set. Let's see if we can get something going on here. This is not our uh, search for the Golden Castle. <laughs> not this set. Come on, Yugi Boy. Destiny Hero Dreamer. Ooh, I like that. Uh, Archfiend Zombie Skull. Anti Spell Fragrance. That's not bad. Spellbook Magician Prophecy. And Time Maiden. Nice. She's got that Time Magic deep down inside. All right, you guys. Next pack is Spell Ruler. This is our Legacy Pack inside. But you know what? I'm actually curious, you guys. Let's see what's inside Dragon's Collide. This is uh, pretty cool to see one of these. It's uh, quite often, I feel like, in the shop, we get asked about this uh, structure deck. So let's go through it real quick. It is the one with Light Pulsar Dragon. And if you guys actually have thought about it, there is a few viable Chaos decks today uh, with Leviathan, some decks playing Dark Armed, some decks playing uh, Chaos Envoy of the Beginning, um, and Envoy of the End as well. Remember, Envoy of the End is back um, but playable again because it's a new effect. But yeah, Light Pulsar Dragon is very good in the deck. You have Dark Flare Dragon. Wow, these are cool, man. I haven't seen these in many, many moons. Eclipse Wyvern. I'm trying to remember if that's banned or not. Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, that's cool to see both those guys, White Stone of Legend, Red Eyes Bee Chick, Axe Dragonute, Vice Dragon, got some Light Swarms, Prime Material, Dark Arm Dragon, I love that, ooh, Red Eyes, Darkness Metal Dragon, Common, 
whoa, 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 we might actually have our value back, you guys. I'm pretty sure that's like a $5 common at least. So uh, those two together might already be getting us some value. Plus Light Pulsar, I think we need to do some research on this deck. Chaos Sorcerer, Lord of D, Mystic Summoners, Snipe Hunter. Got some stickiness right there. Uh, Jane, Lila's in here. Kai, man. Raikou, Chaos Zone. I think that's the only way to get that card. Uh, Book of Moon, Reasoning. Nice, Card Trader. DDR, Charge of the Light Brigade Common. Actually, a pretty sweet card. Dragon's Rebirth, that is a uh, Speed Duels card. Interdimensional Matter Transporter and Escape from the Dark Dimension. So I'm gonna set a couple of these cards out, you guys. I'm just, uh, well, first off, the Ferocious Dragon with Deadly Attack and the Ultimate Creature Destruction, Virtually invin Invincible, only Simple and Lucky faced it and uh, lived to tell the tale. Just to show off some more cards there, you guys. So already we have some value with that. I like that. Let's see if we can get a foil card. Yugi boy. Let's see what happens. Fairy's hand mirror, dark witch, nice. Crab turtle. And then oh baby, an ultra rare tune. Summon skull dragon. That is gorgeous. Tune summon skull dragon. Uh tune summon skull. I think you guys know what tune I actually wanted there. It was a blue eyes tune dragon. But still, you guys, look at the beautiful foil. That is so nice. Got the horns, got the claws there. Wow. That is gorgeous. And you do get a rare inside. That is so cool. Wow. UFO Turtle Penguin Knight Spear Green. Nice peacock. Eternal Rest. Wow. Um, epic, insane pack there from Spell Ruler. And guess what, guys? We're not done yet. So this is going to be a mystery box. This one actually is not from the uh, video we were just talking about. So let's get into it. It's going to be an epic opening here. Believe in the heart of the cards. Can we get a graded card? I'd like to get a graded card. Yu-Gi-Oh deck, booster packs, legacy pack. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, something graded. Oh, oh, don't look inside there. I saw you, I saw you looking. All right, there it is, backwards. Oh, okay. That's gonna be fun. Oh, okay, ooh, Pharaoh's Servant, possibility to pull the almighty Jizno. I like that, I like that. And two packs inside. This time it is a couple of the same packs there, kind of, okay. And Pendulum Domination. Huh. Okay. Well, we did get a... Um, I was like, I'm trying to remember what's in here, guys. This is the DDDs. Actually, people are talking about these, you guys. Um, this deck might have some value now as well because the DDDs are much better, uh, mostly being a lot of fusion or just extra deck monsters in, in general, um, are much better now with the new rules coming out. So DDDs actually might be pretty good. I think there's another Dark Arm Dragon in here as well. You know what? I just want to... We'll just check this out real quick. Let's go through it. Let's see what we get, you guys. Let's know in the comments below, you guys. Do you guys play some of them DDDs? Okay. That's going to be one of those. Here we go. I got you. All right. I kind of like how it's structured, X. It's kind of fun. So we got the Chaos King Apocalypse there. That's uh, Dragon Bane King Beowulf. Orthos. Lamia. Lamia is actually a really, really sweet card there. Um, got Siegfried. We got the Savant. Newton Cornipus. Okay, I said that wrong. Uh, Cerberus. Lilith, nice. You know what, you guys? I think we need to check these out. Dark Armed Dragon. Dark Greffer. Armageddon Knight. Trance Archon Curry Bandit. Holy guacamole, man. Sizer Street Patrol. Dark Contracts are in here. Foolish Burial. One for one. A lure. What is going on here? Okay. Got the DD cards again. Dark Contracts. Escape. Hope for Escape. Got the King Caesar. You guys, that deck actually might be valuable now. What? I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling it, you guys. These are some good decks. I wonder what our value is. A lure common, you guys, is always probably... I'm going to be honest. I think Red Eyes, Darkness Metal, and Allure are two of the most expensive commons in the game. Most valuable commons in the game. So... Um, we'll have some prices pop up on screen for you guys as well. So let's do this. Judgment of Light. Interesting to see some of these decks, you guys. Star Star Sword. Super Defense. Trap Chicks Mermello. Nice. Haven't seen that guy in a while. Got the Agent. Black and White Wave. Medolce. Chicklets. Umbral Horror. And then another Pendulum Evolution, you guys. Need to believe in the heart of the cards for it will guide us. Man, that Tune Summon School is gorgeous. You guys see that? Beautiful. And this is an opening with two Dark Arm Dragons, if you guys were wondering. 
Double Iris again, harmonizing. Odd Eyes Meteor Burst, Star Knight, and Tuning Magician. Cool. And now it's time for Battle Legends Life Revenge. Okay, come on. Yu Gi Oh! Here we go. Solar Recharge, nice. Form of Pals, Crusader, Gladiator Beast, and Odd Eye Synchron. And it's funny, uh, this guy is potentially very playable now with the new Synchro uh, cards coming out. So keep your eyes on Odd Eye's Synchron. <laughs> cool. All right, you guys, last pack of Destiny. This is when it happens. Um, but can we get a great 10 God card? Oh, okay. All right, not this time. Not this time. The seal war calculus. Well, the seal has arrived. Just imagine there on Yugi's little head. And uh, let's see if Yugi can uh, use the power of his soul to give us something epic here. But uh, we definitely need to give it to uh, Kaiba. Can we get another foil card, you guys? Believe in the heart of the cards. Skull Mariner. Inspection. Come on, just know. Wing Reaver. Oh! I was like, that's a in effect monster. It is the Fiend Mega Cyber Ultra Rare. You guys, that is two Ultra Rares out of two Legacy Packs. That is so awesome. I know the values of some of these are going to be a little weird, but it's just still crazy to see. You guys, these are mint straight out of the pack. Um, I know these, are, I think, are worldwide edition printings, but this is this is really cool to see. Two Ultra Rares. This is Fiend Mega Cyber, you guys. This guy was played before Cyber Dragon existed, the whole special summoning. This guy says, you can special summon this card from your hand if your opponent has at least two more monsters on the field than you do. So kind of the first Cyber Dragon type card. He is a warrior, even though he says Fiend and Mega Cyber. So I would expect Fiend or Machine before Warrior, but he is a warrior. Um, very cool to see this guy, though. 2,200 attack, six stars. Could possibly be playable um, in a format, maybe. I don't know. Very cool to see. Oh, baby. Ooh, Noble Man of Extermination. All seeing a White Tiger. Metal Detector. Gradius. Seven complete. Fun opening, you guys. That was really sweet. Wow. Allure. Red Eyes Darkness Metal. I mean, you guys, we definitely have some pure value here. Now, that is for sure. So, um, let us know in the comments below again, guys, if you think that we completed the challenge. And um, overall, again, you guys, thank you so much for... Uh, watching Simple and Lucky. I'm super excited for a 2020 or the year 2020 for Simple and Lucky. We, now that we have the shop kind of set up and prepared, um, we're just ready for videos. And I think it's time, you guys. And so uh, I'm super excited to be attempting to do daily content for you guys. And stay tuned for some more epic series like we've done with this Walmart openings. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Post in the comments below what you guys think if we completed the challenge. And Simply Unlucky signing out.